Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about uh, Army School Teacher Recruitment. On 1st October 2020, we have this uh, notification beginning. So according to this notification, across 137 schools in India, uh, the notification post will be fixed. So you will have to apply for this if you really want. And 137 schools across India so the screening test and interview will be the deciding factors this is what you must be knowing candidates are expected to know some important information regarding this recruitment APA Army Public Schools and AWES Army Welfare Education Society now in 2020 the notification for teachers to recruit in the Army schools uh, has been given by AWES Army Welfare Education Society. This society is a statutory body to recruit the uh, teachers for Army public schools. This body has announced around 8,000 posts altogether. 8,000 posts. The number of this particular 8,000 may be increased or decreased. It depends on the choice of AWES. This notification is uh, meant for post-graduation teachers, PGT, and trained graduate, graduate teachers, TGT, and PRT, primary teachers, primary teachers. This is a wonderful notification if your aim is to become a teacher in one of the army schools in India, this is going to be an excellent opportunity. The <clears throat> examination schedule has also been announced. So the aspirants are to be more curious and they have to be more steadfast to get the fruits of this particular examination. So please be aware of these important factors. <clears throat> With regard to this uh, notification, the total number of posts at present, as far as the information being given in the uh, public domain, is 8000 approximately. And uh, these three category teachers will have to apply postgraduate teachers, trained graduate teachers, and uh, primary teachers. And the post might go up or down, it depends on the choice of. AWES Army Welfare Education Society that is the uh, <clears throat> observation since we have the screening test soon after the screening test upon seeing the number of eligible candidates who are eligible or who deserve to take interview the post will be declared then until then all guys who just want to apply they have to apply irrespective of the status whether they would get it or not but there is some criteria that we still have to discuss in this video uh, the selection procedure how it takes place and the, the fundamentals of um, this particular examination particularly <coughs> to get a job here so uh, <clears throat> how is it going to be we have to discuss that point well for PGT posts, these are the subjects and the required qualifications. You may take a look at this. The subjects are Hindi, English, Geography, Economics, Political Science, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Biotechnology, Psychology, Commerce, Computer Science, Home Sciences and Physical Education. The candidate who wants to apply for PGT program, PGT post, 50% marks needed both at PG as well as Bachelor of Education, post graduation and Bachelor of Education level. This is very important, kindly make a note of this. Coming to trained graduate teachers, this is the pattern. Subjects like uh, English, Hindi, Sanskrit, History, Geography, Political Science, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry, Biology, Computer Science, Physical Education and the qualification to apply for uh, trained graduate teachers 50% marks in uh, degree 
plus uh, bachelor of education these are the fundamental requirements Sorry, for primary teachers this is the academic qualification required academic qualification the aspirant must be able to produce a certificate with regard to degree plus bachelor of education or diploma in elementary education or four years integrated course from these three qualifications if one of the qualifications a candidate has then you can definitely apply for this post under this category primary teacher category so like this we have pgt tgt and prt according to the category and make sure you satisfy the norms and uh, your eligibility is perfect without having to worry afterwards so this is very important friends uh, with reference to age if your uh, age qualification matters yes by uh, 1st april 2021 that is next year if you are not going to cross 40 years old you will be eligible you must not cross 40 years old by april 1st 2021 next year similarly uh, if you have 5 years teaching experience you can apply if your age is 57 years old even that means 57 years old citizens of india who want to become teachers in in the army schools can also apply if they possess 5 years teaching experience please do remember these points they are very very important process there is an important observation online screening test will be the first phase so after you have uh, taken this online screening test based on your performance you will be sought to take interview afterwards maybe during that time the board will keep some insistence or might keep some emphasis on your teaching skills as well as computer proficiency Uh, knowledge so these two issues even in the syllabus if you take a close look at you would understand and you can easily figure out how the test is going to be uh, being part of this there are many aspects and chapters that are still going to be relevant for the existing teaching profession and their requirements seem to be very you know dynamic what we can understand we teachers what we need to possess in mind before we apply for that we should be prepared to do to better demonstrations and to be know to be able to give better knowledge on computer um, science i mean proficiency basic fundamentals of computers and its knowledge there is another observation <coughs> ctet and tet we know state level teacher eligibility test at central level for central uh, government teacher posts like kvs and uh, even some other schools especially army uh, school uh, school teacher jobs the teachers are supposed to produce the certificate but there is one important twist for pgt or uh, uh, especially there is no such requirement but tgd and prt the teachers are supposed to possess and they must produce the certificates only during interview if they get selected to take online screening test no one has to submit either tgd or pgt uh, i mean ctet or tet certificates but it is very clear if uh, the teachers do not have ctet or tet obviously even if they get selected uh, for the interview or something finally they will be kept aside so before you apply please make sure you just satisfy all the requirements of this particular job so ctet and tet should be produced by the candidates who are planning to become teachers in these two categories tet careers okay and for pgt there is no such obligation and you don't have to produce any it's only your bed qualification and uh, post graduation that's all post graduate teachers trained graduate teachers how many marks will be there the it will be for 180 marks and uh, we have two sections or part a and part b part a for 90 marks and part b 90 marks and uh, the duration of the test is uh, 3 hours syllabus for part a will be general ability that means general awareness and mental ability english uh, communication 
educational concepts, methodology related issues and uh, other various aspects which are pertinent to that particular post. And part B is your domain. If it is your geography, you need to be good at that subject. If it is English, you have to be more uh, knowledge oriented. These two parts will be part of screening test. If you want to go for interview round, you need to finish this task. This is a laborious task. Between these two, part B is okay because that is the subject where you are good at and you teach the subject always in your schools and colleges if you have any such experience. Part A is beyond our reach. It is not beyond our reach, in fact, this is not our cup of tea, we don't usually deal with this. So, during preparation, this is one of the biggest strategies to give importance to these areas. There are many chapters under each particular, for example, general awareness. You will have to study chemistry, fundamentals of chemistry, fundamentals of physics, fundamentals of you know, natural science, such various aspects. I will discuss all the aspects chapter wise and I will make the video lessons on all of them and if you really like my videos and subscribe to my channel, I am going to help you uh, before the examination. I think the examination will be on 20th and maybe 20th, 21st of this uh, November this year. So we will have hardly 50 days from today. So we must be more cu get careful and we have to go fast and you cannot keep uh, your responsibility of studying daily for 5 to 6, maybe 10 hours aside. You need to be more focused, okay? Stay focused and stay, stay central. Uh, before I conclude, uh, there are a few other issues I will still discuss. PGT, TGT, 180 marks, duration 3 hours, part A, part B, part A 90 marks and part B 90 marks, total 180 marks, syllabus general awareness, mental ability, English communication, educational concepts, methodology related issues, part B is your domain. So, the teachers who have been working at various uh, government and central government job, uh, schools, these topics will not be very, 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 very difficult. But maybe uh, those who are working as junior lecturers or degree lecturers for the sake of getting a job, yes, it's a government job. Who would like to ignore? No one ignores it. Uh, they might find it uh, somehow hard because it will become altogether a new atmosphere and environment. But if you could just pay attention for a week or 10 days, do meditation, plan your mind and program it that I need this, this is my life, maybe everything possible, even the Everest, okay? Well, primary teachers, for these guys, there will be only one part, it seems, part A, which will be for 90 marks. So part A will carry 90 marks paper. Under this, the syllabus is going to be general awareness, mental ability, English comprehension, educational concepts, and methodology related issues. This is very important information for primary teachers, candidates. And the duration of this exam for these peer, teacher aspirants will be 1 hour 30 minutes. 1 hour 30 minutes. This is the most important thing. Besides your preparation, seriousness and attentiveness, please take a look at this. If you neglect this point, there will be a big loss to you. But I don't want to see you becoming losers. I want uh, to see all of you to become gainers. You will be successful. Negative marking. In this examination, there will be negative marking. Yes, we know why negative marking is introduced in every examination. This is to filter the candidates. If you do not follow this, if you are not mindful, after the results are out, the mood of yours will have to be like this. But I don't want to see you like this. But I would like to see you like this. How great it is. You will definitely be like this. One by fourth of mark will be deducted. For every wrong answer that you give, please be careful. After a studying test, you will have to face interview. In this interview, Besides uh, asking the questions with regard to your interest, attitude, qualifications and all, general questions in the interview, the questions that are very essential to test and scrutinize the teacher's attitude, 
the board would also want to know your teaching skills how how far you are good at uh, teaching skills and how best you can display the computer knowledge will be their priorities please i'm sure these days most of the guys have a lot of knowledge in the computers but fundamentally we are not aware of a certain acronyms a certain uh, you know technical words and definitions and uh, peripherals and various uh, you know jargon and uh, certain issues technical terms and words being part of computer knowledge you have to explore that separately this is going to be the deciding factor too you see a final selection this is the criteria you know very well about this selection procedure you will take screening test upon the selection of the screening test in which you get selected you will have to appear for interview afterwards based on the marks you secure in these two rounds you will be selected for the schools dear friends army school teachers notification very important details this notification uh, has been given and uh, the date from which you can apply for this uh, vacancies is october 1st 1st october 2020 and the last date to apply for this uh, pgt tgt or prt 20th october and screening test date 21st and 22nd and over you will have hardly 2 months that means you will have to work hard and this is tentatively not any you know this is not uh, exact date but tentatively 12th december you will be given the results of the test if you have any questions queries if you want to know something more than what i have presented today in this video lesson you might take a look at this website official website of army public schools with this being said i would like to take leave of you before i take leave of you let me ask you one thing are you serious about army public school teacher job if so please invest your time and energy besides that believe in yourself this is very very important for any success you know one thing successful successful people never waste time successful people never are unplanned they are planned they never waste time and they never think negatively think positively and be steadfast be aware of the changes that take place till the end of the entire process i mean until you get results and be always positive do not leave a single minute unused be always positive and mindful of the dates and your preparation strategies in the coming video lessons i am so much committed to help you with excellent material excellent videos on paper 1 that is section a and i teach english so if you are taking this test for english part b paper i will also be discussing some issues in that with this being said i would like to take you off now have a great time bye